So what is that? My little boy and I played some Ninja Turtles. Local thrift store near me. Um, I know these ladies, they're sisters. They helped out for me. And three bucks. Sealed. Cool. Thank you. So trading in all those NESs got me banned from GameStop. They had to cancel all my pre-orders, give me a new account. But the cool thing is, is I got a free pro membership for a year, an active $5 automatically, et cetera, for the pro membership. But yeah, um, they told me there was no policy on retro and that they were looking for retro and they ended up uh, banning my account. No, I'm good now. Anyway, I had to come pick up Happy Funland on the PS VR 2. And I think today I'm going to be going over to um, my bedroom and unhooking my PS VR 2, the second one I got, and actually giving it over to Z-Man so he has a PS VR 2. In his game room right now, he has a PSVR 1. I'm probably going to swap him out and put that one in the bedroom so I can play. It's just better quality for their eyes, you know, so. Cool. So I had Happy Funland paid off um, a while ago. And I picked, decided to pick up Clash of Heroes. I had a $5 coupon because they reactivated my Power Up Pro uh, with a brand new account. So used the $5 on this. I got this for $34.99. And then I got rid of that trade card. I just paid off in this ocean on switch and threw some money on killer clowns from outer space so that should be cool to, to check out little meetup 40 bucks so that is sealed i might keep it i don't know we'll see but go through it later traded in a few games already and I ended up getting like $42 store credit. Plus I had some personal trades from some other lots I traded in and got like $101. My ban has been lifted. I was banned for doing too many Nintendo trades. It got lifted, <clears throat> so I'm able to do my trades again. And this is what's left out of that lot after getting uh, like $42, I think it was. I got card games, PS1, that, some Sega Dreamcast stuff. Pretty cool. I know Blitz goes for about 35 or something like that. This is sealed with the hang tag. Um, Devil May Cry. I actually got this at GameStop. It was like $9. I didn't do any buy four for 20 or anything like that because they didn't have anything. The slip cover to Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 3. Hopefully it's in there. Oh yeah, and the bonus disc. Really cool on that. Midnight Club, Los Angeles, Splinter Cell, FIFA 16, FIFA 14, Overwatch, Worthless. The Gears of War Ultimate Edition, I actually replaced it with my edition. It's an upgrade, so I'm upgrading that. Marvel's Capcom 3, which I'm still debating on keeping or not, and Gran Turismo 3. So nothing, nothing too crazy, but I was able to trade in and get the same amount I paid in cash. Shout out to RJC Media for giving me the lead on this. Got that yard sale there. Oh, he's dying. Two bucks on this Ocarina of Time book. It's like backwards or it's printed upside down. I don't know anything about it, but. Pretty cool, three bucks. Figured out, check out the local farmer's market and see what kind of games they had. Sometimes he has unique titles, but this time he didn't. He did have a lot more stock than he did last time. And uh, he had a 3D Mario All-Stars, but he wouldn't budge on that. He ended up trading me four of my games for Skyrim Sealed, which you'll see here in a minute. I already have Skyrim, but I decided that I wanted to get it sealed and keep it in the collection because when am I ever going to play it? Doing a little 
trade here. He's taking these four. Here's that. And we're trading for Skyrim sealed. I'm probably gonna keep it sealed in the collection. This second thrift store here had some cool little items, but they never have video games anymore. Luckily, I know one of the guys that works here, and he always hooks me up. Gerald, man, you're a saint, man. I appreciate you very much if you ever watch these videos. Thank you, bro. Shout out to Charles, my neighbor, and Crazy Flow for always giving sick beats. And, you know, sorry if I use some of these songs twice. It's just, I love the Donkey Kong music and a lot of video game music. And my homies beats. Really cool, Gerald hooked me up with a PS3, an original Xbox, two PlayStation 2 controllers, and this nice little Fortnite book for Z-Man. So, cool stuff. So, I found this for 50 cents. Looks clean. A couple nonsense titles and trade for the sealed Skyrim which I think I'm gonna replace with my used Skyrim. So yeah, it's like, I'll probably never play this again. If I do, I'll play it on something else. You know, I have so many copies of it. Might as well keep it sealed on the Switch. So. Grail bound gaming, gave me some grails bound. Railbound Gaming, thank you man for the trade. Uh, we got Pocky and Rocky on the PS4. Something I wanted. Cool, he protected the cases. Very cool. Um, awesome. White Day is sealed because I have opened one on the PS5. Very cool. And one I missed, which I wanted to get, was Owlboy on the, um, the PS4. I'm not sure if I have it on the Switch. I don't think I do, but got it on the PS4 now. Stoked. Thank you, Grailbound Gaming. There's 15. 15. Mm -hmm. So what will that be? Would you do 100 for the box? So it's kind of a big discount, but. Well, I don't know if anybody needs any Fire Emblem Warriors, but I was at this yard sale here. Really nice lady. I've always come, I've, I've came here before and she usually has games sometimes, but she has bulk amounts. So I just picked up this. Yeah. 100 bucks uh there's 16 of them so about seven dollars per um i don't know i'm probably list them on ebay unless somebody wants to trade for some of these let me know guys but cool little score at this yard sale here pay 25. that's just the empty case but we got the white psp Looks like it's in good shape. Serial number still intact. I don't know if I clean it off, it might be something I want to keep, but not really. But cool. And there's some games in there, some Sega Genesis, uh, some movies. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cool little yard sale going on here. That yard sale right there. Picked up one, two, three, four, five games, dollar each. Super Nintendo, no cords, uh, Hang Time 2, and that PS3 controller, 35. So, you guys know I have cords, so hey. Flea market, local flea market. This is a local flea market that happens once every six to seven months. 
and I was glad I came here because wait till you see what I got. But check out the views, and it's kind of empty. I showed up early, and like I said, it was a good thing I did. Anyway. So there's games I paid two dollars each for, came to forty. So pretty cool. Oh, thank you, dude. So two bucks each. Yeah. Comes to 30 bucks. Pretty cool deal. Everything in here was two dollars each. Um, I don't know. I spent forty the first place I went, and I spent thirty the next place I went. So there's there's a lot. The Xeno gears. That's it. Boom. Two bucks. Nuts. Nuts. Well, got that for five bucks. A couple little. You know, if you come across a controller, you can put that on there and there's no refurbished fee if that's the case and then I got these two games this little charge port no batteries and a Wii U uh, HDMI cord at that yard sale there CIB got some games here five bucks each dollar for the Wii games really cool All this was a span of about three days, four days, and I was pooped. I wanted to get out of here, go home. But something told me, go down this deserted road. And I don't know why I did, but I did. And family's house, yard sale. They went to talk to their son. They found all these. So this is why you asked and you be polite and you have respect. Son was like, I don't want it. I was talking to the mom and the son at the same time. Oh, I am stoked on that. All right, guys. Well, today was a, I would say a successful day. <laughs> It started off with this right here. Um, I was the first person there, and they just pretty he the the leader of the the yard sale said, "Okay, I can come peek." I started to come peek. Some reseller shows up, a dude that's my competition, and as I'm on the street, he's like pretending to like run me over. And the guy was like, "All right, I don't want you guys here. The sale starts at seven. Da 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 da. So dude approaches me. And I just kept telling him, hey, this guy is a reseller. He told me that he wanted so much money for certain things. And it kind of got him to leave. So he left. And I was there. There was a couple other resellers there. But I ended up beating him to the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo didn't have any cords or wires. It is untested. Cool thing is, he gave me everything here for 35 bucks. So I got a Game Boy SP. It is a 001. I got NBA courtside Kobe Bryant Part 2. I've never seen Part 2. I didn't even know it existed. And then a uh, PlayStation 3 controller has the sticker. I'm hoping it doesn't have stick drift. And this wire right here for the Xbox. So I got all that for 35 So it was kind of a uh, start, you know, to the day. 
And then I decided to go by the flea market, which they have every six months at a local park near me. And I'm so glad I did because when I got there, I paid $40 for all this right here. So, I mean, there's nothing great, but for 40 bucks, you can't beat it. You got the Power Rangers, Super Legends, Iron Man on the DS, Sonic and the Secret Rings. This looks so great. The cool part was there was one Wii Sports Resort and two Wii Sports. They're both, they're all in there. So no Manny, but hey, they're in there. Ben 10, Lego Battles Ninjaro, DreamWorks Superstar Carts, Black Ops, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Tony Hawk Ride. Uh, I think I got this Black Ops somewhere else, sorry. Ghost Squad, uh, Lego Batman 2, Indiana Jones. I'll just go through them real quick so you can see. Uh, oh, there's two in there. Look at that. Family Game Night. I guess that's a bonus. Hot Wheels. How to Train Your Dragon. I think my uncle worked on the first movie of How to Train Your Dragon. Not the second or third. Uh, Lego Star Wars. Madagascar 3. We play Super Mario is Super Paper Mario with the Manny and everything in it. All that was 40 bucks. And then normally I walk around twice in certain areas. If there's like a, you know, swap meet or whatever. I did that with RJC. He was like, let's get out of here. I was like, let's walk around one more time. And we ended up finding more stuff. So I'm glad I did because this guy was unloading and he was pulling out bins and he had all this and he was like two bucks each. 30 bucks for this stack right here. So it was, this was 30 disc one and two which i just got in another lot not even that that many videos ago i can't remember but whew, i mean xeno gears xeno gears disc one and two i mean for me to find this twice at two different yard sales that is nuts disc is eh. i'll probably test them we know the other one worked there is some blemishes in there but i mean it should still work Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Combined Assault, two bucks. Final Fantasy VIII, Dis one through four, no Manny. They're all in there. Black, ATV Off-Road Fury 2, Evolution, um, Tekken 4, like Mega Collection, Hitman, Manhunt, this is the House of the Dead, Three new returns on PS2 about Armageddon, CIB, and what else is in there? SOCOM. Wow. All right. I didn't even know that was in there. Oh, there's three. Wow. Three games. There's one. There's two. Let's put this right here. Boom. Wow. Two extra games I didn't know about. SOCOM 2, Spyro, Hero's Tale, which is cool. Test Drive, and Rocksmith. 30 bucks, four games, and this little power thing that you could put on the Xbox One S, I believe, was $5. Guy had um, some Wii games for a dollar each. Uh, they might, I, I think I got them, actually they're right here, sorry. Let me move this stuff here. These games were a dollar each and they're on his little yard, on a little cloth, and I just grabbed them real quick and then I walked up, nothing too great. Uh, for a dollar though i'm not gonna pass them up um i walked up and i saw he had some ps4 stuff and i was like do you have any switch games you and he's like yeah he goes i got this he goes like, five bucks each so i paid five for that i paid five for this i don't know if i have this i have to double check but if not it is going into collection it is minty fresh gave this to me for seven dollars it is complete in excellent condition too. Also had Sword in the Stone, which when I grew up, I watched this movie a lot when I was little and I figured I'd snag it for the kids because they've never seen it before. $10 for the PS2 box. It has everything, the cardboard, the plastic. And I'll give you 10 for the PS4 box because I have a PS4 I'm trying to get rid of. These two games, this, this, the complete in box PlayStation with a nice crispy box. Everything's in there and the system works. This box and this box, believe it or not, 
I paid 90. But hey, I, sometimes you gotta pay up to get stuff. $75 in my pocket. And I knocked on a door because the yard sale, no one was there. And so I knocked on the door and some uh, nice little uh, Korean lady came out and was like, what can I help you with? Do you see anything you like? And I was like, I was wondering if you have any video games. And she's like, my son, he left these here. Let me call him and ask. He asked, she asked him, he said $5 a game. Fantasy 9, as Gat Cognac would say, Asian owned, Mint, and World 3, CIB, Mint, Back X, I mean, Psychonauts, Solid 3, another Fantasy 12, Yu Gi Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. No limited edition cards in there. This is the only one that does not have the Manny. Okami. This is another one of my favorite games on the PS2. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Samurai Warriors, you know, Saga Episode 1, Greatest Hits version, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Night, The Mutant Nightmare, Time Crisis, Crisis Zone, going to Gat Cognac, because you know he's uh, obsessed with those gun cons, you know. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 2, Devil May Cry, the Special Edition, Greatest Hits version. CIB, Kingdom Hearts, beautiful, Kingdom Hearts 1, oh that was Kingdom Hearts 2, <laughs> this is crazy, crazy to find this, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, can't be more grateful, and uh, thank you guys for checking us out, picking up Endless Ocean, Ooh. and I also brought over Final Fantasy 12 Collector's Edition for one of the employees over here at GameStop. So I appreciate them very much. Hopefully they continue to hook me up. <laughs> this is everything I'm adding in. I'd like to thank Grailbound Gaming for the trade. And thank you all for tuning in. I'm not going to go through all these, but some cheapo games I'm going to add in. Why not? I don't know, I used to, I, I look back on going to secondhand stores and stuff like that and finding a little treasure like that. And that actually meant more to me because it was, it was more of a stab in the dark in a way, you know, because you didn't know if you're going to be able to afford it and you don't know what you're really looking for and when you find it, it's, it's more special to you rather than, you know, having a thousand dollars and going into a store like that and just buying the whole store, 